Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jay the Detailer, located in Sacramento, California. So if you're looking to get a detail, come on, you already know. Check out that Instagram, like I said. Um, today we're gonna be working on the van. So this is gonna be part two of the build series. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing today, but I do have some ideas that I wanna make. I know that I'm gonna be washing the car, getting it prepped for a polish. I might do that today um, because it, you know, I'm working Monday through Friday, so today's Saturday. Uh, I got some time on my hands to do some work on this van, so I might polish it up, clean it up a bit, make it look uh, shiny. Um, right now, we're about to go get Taco Bell. I'm starving. Um, they got that breakfast crunch wrap with bacon and sausage I'm craving. So we're going to go get Taco Bell real quick, and then we're going to come back to the house, and um, we're going to wash the car up, get it prepped. So I'll see you when I get Taco Bell, and let's get the video started. Let's go. Alright, so on my way to Taco Bell, I saw O'Reilly's, 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 however you guys say it. I still haven't figured out how to say it, no matter how much, how many times I say it. Um, I'm gonna pick up uh, some Plasti Dip real quick while I'm here. Um, I'm gonna be painting the grill the bumper and the rear little bumper like the step so um, I'm gonna go pick up some plastic dip real right now and then that's gonna be in the future maybe in this video we'll do it um, yeah okay so I just picked this up right here this has a one step and two step so I'm pretty sure the first one is like the matte kind of look and then um, they give you a second step which is gonna be like that gloss finish this is um, easy to remove Plasti Dip right here. So if I mess up or if I get overspray on the white paint, I'll just wipe it off and uh, we'll be good. So uh huh, uh huh, yes sir. That Baja Blast and this Crunch Wrap, that's what I come to Taco Bell for, man. This breakfast, and um, I know I'm having soda and breakfast, but come on, I'm, so, I'm, you know, I have to. I'm craving it. All right, so we just got home. Uh, we already set up the pressure washer. We're about to get uh, washing the car. Um, I already did a little foam pre-rinse uh, like a day ago. Um, I do want to let you guys know that I said I was going to go to Home Depot and pick some stuff up. Um, this vacuum, my man Sean gave it to me to test it out. If it works, I'm going to turn it into an extractor possibly. Um, I already have another vacuum, so I'm going to run double vacuums, one for an extractor, one for a vacuum. I went and picked up a drill kit. So this is a rigid drill kit. It comes with two batteries and an impact. I'm going to be using the impact for mechanic stuff. Um, I got a 50 foot air hose reel to set up when I get the um, the wall set up, which is going to be in the future videos. And I also got a rigid compressor and my grandpa has a generator for me. I have a pressure washer. All I need is a water tank, some fittings and stuff like that. And basically, um, I'm basically good to go to set up my van. Um, we're going to start working on it soon, but right now let's get it washed up so I can polish it later on and uh, get that plastic dip in because I don't want to have to get the plastic dip on and then wash it. So All right, so old Cheryl is finally washed up. She's clayed. She's looking better already, a lot better. Um, when it was in the sun, it kind of hurt my eyes a little bit to look at. I don't know if you guys know this, but my eyes are very, very sensitive. So when the sun is out and um, especially white paint, I always have to wear glasses to be able to see anything. Um, but you know, I had to shine her shoes up real quick you know make her make her look a little better um i i personally like the shiny look on the tires i know a lot of you guys probably like the matte look um i'm in between i like both but for my personal use i love this like wet look but um yeah so she's ready to polish i'm probably gonna go to my dad's house real quick and um i'm gonna paint these bumpers right here that back one and then i'm also gonna do this right here this uh front bumper as well as this grill and um the the headlight housings i'm gonna tape off the headlights paint the grill paint the bumper um i'll see what i can do we just pulled up to my dad's house next thing i'm gonna do is start taping things off so i'm painting these housings right here um and i'm just gonna tape off as much as i can Remember, this is Plasti Dip, so I'm not worried about getting it all perfect. I just want to get most of it so that, you know, just when I clean up, it's going to be little stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm going to tape around here, 
tape these up, um, tape that up, and um, yeah, we're gonna clean this up with alcohol, and I'll get to you when I when I'm done taping everything up. So I know I might have not done the best job, but you know I got it taped up right now. What is this? 70% isopropyl alcohol. I have a little towel right here. I'm just gonna clean up the plastics. I took my front plate off so I can actually make it cleaner. But um, yeah, uh, let's clean this up and I'll start spraying. So here's the first coat done. I'm gonna let it dry, but um, it's already changing the look of it. You know, probably like two, three, four coats. We'll see how many we need, but yeah, it's coming along. Now we're on our way to AutoZone because um, I just realized that one can of Plasti Dip is not going to be enough. So I'm going to be going to get some more. Um, I'm not expecting a professional job at all. I'm expecting it to look better than uh, what it looks like. But um, yeah, we're going to go grab a few more cans because we have, uh, have the rear bumper as well. But yeah. Alright, so I ended up getting two bottles of um, smoke Plasti Dip and then a glossifier so um yeah man old cheryl's getting some work done to her <laughs> all right so check this out i already got one coat on here of this one right here but um i'm gonna be honest this one sucks so i went and picked up plasti dip and i'm gonna coat that over like i said i'm not looking for the best results i'm looking for something that will look a lot better than what it looks like so um, I'm going to get that coat on there right now. Alright, so here's the second coat I did of that looking a lot better now um, I'm gonna do two more coats and then I'm gonna go over it with the gloss amplifier so uh, I'm gonna show you guys when I do the second coat or the third coat and it's gonna be a total of four coats y'all okay, so while I'm waiting for the front uh, coat to dry I'm gonna start on the back here I'm not gonna record this whole process because I am recording some of that process so there's no reason for me to but um, I just want to get a before if you see it's all faded, looking horrible. So um, I'm gonna show you the after and uh, you'll see this because it's definitely gonna be a transformation. And boom, so we're done. This was four coats. Um, I'm gonna wait for this to dry and I put a fourth coat on here and I'm waiting for both the sides to dry. Um, while I wait for them to dry, now, I know it doesn't look brand new, but it looks a lot better than what it did. Um, one thing I don't like about this van is these roof racks right here. So, um, I'm going to go cut these right now. And uh, I'm going to set you guys up right there so you can see me cut that. But um, I I'm not a fan of those, so those need to go. <laughs> Alright guys, so now that those racks are off, um, just check out how much better it made the van look, like honestly. Um, now the reason I had to cut them was because it was sealed right here, so I know it's not the best because they're still on here, but um, 
as long as the water doesn't get through we're good to go and it looks a lot better so the next thing would be to now I'm gonna put the clear coat on here the shine and then after that we're gonna be removing these stickers right here on this one and this one right here So now we got the first layer of clear coat on there, that shiny look um, on the back as well. Now I should have enough for two layers of it. I'm going to put two layers of it and uh, I'm going to call it that. However it looks, it looks, I'm not looking for the best, best, best results. I'm looking for the van to look better. All right. All right. So I finally got the second layer of clear coat on there. So now it's time to rip off the tape and we're going to see how it officially looks after all that getting done to it. So uh, I'm gonna rip that off right now. Oh my gosh guys as you can see that is a big 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 difference um taping everything made my job so much easier i took the tape off and it looks amazing now so um i only have to do like a little touch-ups right here but since this is plastic dip um with some alcohol or whatever it'll come off so i'm gonna touch that up but um yeah let's check out the back right now all right here's the back looking really good too so if you remember the befores, here's the after. Uh, two layers of clear coat on here as well. Roof rack is gone. Um, yeah. Next thing is uh, to remove those stickers now. So now the stickers are off. I only got a little bit of adhesive. The rest I'll get off with adhesive remover. I still want to polish these windows as well, as well as the paint. But uh, yeah, for now, I think that's about it. I think I'm gonna pick up this video later during the, you know, later in the day when I get my polisher. Because right now I don't have my polisher and uh, I can't do nothing, but uh, yeah stay tuned all right you guys it is later on in the day i finally got my polisher down there um and i'm about to be doing some test spots so you're actually you know what? i'm just gonna be polishing the whole car i'm gonna be using uh is turtle wax hybrid solutions one and done compound mixed with the yellow wool pad from roops um some of you guys are gonna be like why are you using turtle wax um if you guys are hating on turtle wax um you know that's i, I can't say nothing about that um just i haven't tried this product but i know the hybrid solutions line is just amazing so i found this or i saw this at napa and i just picked it up because it was on sale so um pair it up with this it's a one and done compound might as well try it um and yeah let's go ahead and get started on this polish My 
my gosh. I don't know if you guys saw, but this tail light, I just hit up the tail lights real quick. Look at this tail light. And then compare this tail light right here. I hit up the polish. Guys, tell me that does not look amazing. Like, that really just changes the game. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go polish that up real quick. I'm gonna set you guys down and watch this. Wow, just, just, oh my, wow, yeah, that for real changes it, um, but yeah, we got this little part done, this little area, I'm gonna move on to this door. you guys we're finally done polishing the van it's already getting dark let me show you what we did today so we got the front bumper plasti dipped um, and then we also got the stickers removed off the uh, windows then we got this rear bumper plasti dipped as well as we polished the car so uh, we washed it we clayed it we ironed it polished it now it's looking a lot more shiny um, like I said, I didn't go for a correction here. I just went for the shot. Oh, and we got the roof rack off. So I just went for the shiny look. I didn't want to get all the swirls out. You know what I mean? It is a work van at the end of the day, but, uh, it's looking a lot better and, um, I'm very happy with it. Now the last step would be to put on a window coating. I had this for, uh, laying around, so I'm going to do this. It's a one year ceramic window coating. And I'm also going to be putting a sealant on here to protect my uh, van. But um, I'm going to end off the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed everything and I hope you guys are enjoying the build series. I have so much more to come and I'm so excited to record more. Um, and I'm excited for you guys to see everything that I do to this van, see the setup, see my business. Um, yeah, there's so many things coming, so stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so that you don't miss any more and you get notified when I upload videos. Hit that like, comment, and um, yeah, just interact with the video so it goes up in algorithm. And uh, I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Stay blessed. Peace.